Welcome back to Madworks Garage. Here we are with our new ice cream van. Hey. Well, we thought we'd have a quick look at it today. As you can see, it's got a home now in the container with the other one. Um, and we thought we might try and start the engine to see if there's any life in the old girl. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. If you look at it, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's pretty much unmol unmolested. So hopefully uh, things will be all right. If you look, I have managed to turn it by hand. So she turns, which is obviously a massive start. It's covered in cobwebs and dirt, but everything looks to be as it should be. So what we'll do is we'll put a temporary tank on it um, and a fresh battery, a jump pack, and we'll just give it a whirl, see what happens. There you go, join us in a moment. So, we've now put power to the battery. The old battery that's in there, that's probably not a lot good. Um, I've turned the ignition on and we have ignition lights and this is what we get so we have a stuck starter motor so the plan is get a big hammer and whack it one to uh, see if we can get it to turn we can get it to turn the engine. It's another step closer to actually see if it will fire or catch fire, one or the other. Let's pull that out away from it. Something else that's very interesting, I don't know whether you can see in here, can you? See in here? No. Can you see in here if you come around the side? Something else that's interesting is these two pipes, they come from the radiator system and through this panel, across and into the back of this sink unit. There's a, there's a pump here. I have no idea what it's for as yet, but this is the problem we got. We have a very stuck starter. So I'll uh, have a, try and loosen that up now. Okay. Out of the thing, Ben. Yeah. Out of the box. Are you still videoing? Yeah. Just mm -mm. the one. Just the one. Uh, can you get one with the top on it? Okay. So we got an old plug, we're just gonna see if there's a spark there. No. Doesn't look like it. Nope. So next thing we do is pop off the dizzy, see if we've got any power to the points. Clean them up, yeah. And go from there. Right then, so we've got the power on, we've got power, uh, the jump pack on the battery, we've got the power on, we've got ignition lights. So if I go down in there, wherever you can see this, I'm going to see if there's any power at the points. Let's move that cable out of the way, it's very tight in here.
Yep. Can you see that? You see that? Yep. So we've got a spark, we've got plenty of power there. So what we do, need to do is clean the points up a little bit. There you go. And then we'll clean the rotor arm, the rotor cap, and then we'll see if we've got a spark at the, the plugs. Looks like the mice have been chewing that. See that HT lead? Looks like a mouse has been having a right on nosh on there. You see that? Mm -hmm. uh, might be something we have to look at as well. The object of the exercise is only to really see. If you turn it off, what are you doing? Filming you. Is it still on? Yeah. Oh. The object of the exercise is to see if it will fire. If it will fire, it will run. But it will run anyway. It turns and the points have got life, so there's no reason why it shouldn't. So we'll have a look at cleaning everything up. And then we'll have a go. Right, well, I've got a strip of uh, emery paper here. So what I'm going to do is go in with that and clean these points up. Then we'll clean up the rotor arm. So, very gently. No, can't see. <laughs> Give them a rub up. Like that. Now we'll see if we've got a spark when it turns over at the points. We'll zoom in. Ready? No spark. You sure? Yeah, positive. <laughs> right, let me just check that. We might not have enough power. I need to put a battery on there as well as a jump pack. Because it could be taking the all the power away for the starter, see? There's definitely definitely lots of power there at the points. Loads. Hmm. Yeah, loads. And it did clean them quite well too. So I think the trick is to get another battery on. That's the right round cleaned up. So we get another battery on. So I get a bit more power in there. Okay. Okay guys, so just off camera there, because there was a lot of swearing and cursing and cursing and swearing going on just for a change. Ben's inside the cab there. Um, I've got very dirty. But what we've done is we've changed the cap, we've changed uh, the leads, which is pretty straightforward really. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to test see if we've got a spark. Uh, we've got power at the points, I've cleaned the points, I've cleaned the rotor arm, like I said, changed the cap, done the leads. So what we're going to do is just put a, leave all the plugs in the engine, just going to put a, um, a spark plug on lead number one here. And we'll see if we got a spark at the plug. Okay. Yeah. Here's one I prepared earlier. But the thing is, I'll have to. If you can bear with me, Ben, you've got to move the camera up yeah. to see. So I'll just put that in there, ready. Yeah. And stick that down in there, like that. And I shall bring the camera up. <sighs> yeah, just hold it by hand. Okay. Okay, so 
there's the leads the new well the second hand new leads new leads uh in there um and the plug we're just going to test to see if we've got a, a spark at the plug okay ready yeah, uh, right you go ready yep <laughs> yep we have a nice spark there well that's brilliant news isn't it we've got a nice spark at the plug so what we'll do now is it'll be really cheeky um, I'll just check the oil first, but uh, there's no, obviously no water in the system, but we're not going to run it for long enough if it will run. I'm just going to drop a bit of fuel down the old uh, carburetor. carburetor and uh, we'll see if it fires, shall we? I'll put you back on the tripod. Unbelievable, that, that little flat. Right, so we're back on the tripod and we're recording. So, this is my little... Uh, bottle that I use for fit go away mr. Buzzy thing um, With a bit of fuel links. It's nice and easy to get into the top of the car so what, the knee, actually. It's a bit um, Well, you can't do everything can you? Right, so I'm just going to drop a little bit down the throat of the carburetor Okay uh, Give us a couple of pumps on the gas there bench that the, just there the lever down there because the oh, foot one doesn't is disconnected just let the fuel go down all right all right yeah lovely so what we're going to do now is just turn it over and see if it fires go on really? yeah right. absolutely nothing uh what would probably help would be if i took this plug off here and put it back on oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to help a bit, isn't it? I should think. Uh, yeah, well, there you are. It's getting late in the day. Okay, so let's. Um, can you pull the choke on? Pull the on. Yeah, hang on, I'll tell you what else we'll do. We'll just connect that, because we didn't do that. Just connect that old fuel pipe in case it drags up a load of gooey petrol when it's been stood for so long. One. Don't be horrible. No, I can't no. help it. No, you need a screwdriver. Oh right, okay. That is really nasty. That right. Okay, let's um. I'll put a bit more down there. I put. I have got to show five. Yeah, just to wet its whistle properly. Okay, let's go again. Right, ready? Yeah. Starting to pop back, so we're getting somewhere. Let's push that timing round because we had to move the distributor to get the clips on. Right, let's have a go now. Okay, come on. Maybe, maybe not. That definitely go up and down, all right. That. Yeah, yeah. Give it. Yeah. Go on then. Okay, give it another little go. Ready? Yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. No way. Wow. Just, just try it again. Oh, I've got over excited now. Go on, try it again. No, right, okay, you need to just tap, tap, pull the thing on the uh, start motor. It's got stuck again. You know what? The, uh, absolutely. Find a bit, down a bit. Good side, yeah. Find that right now. That's shooting in and out, see? It's got jam. That's it, it'll work then. Right, hang on. Have you got the squirt there? Yeah. Give it another good squirt. Because it's got a bit rusty over the years, been sitting around. I think it's doing pretty well. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Where you go. Ignition point. Go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I better move all this. I'm getting overexcited. It's going to fly everywhere, isn't it? Right, just one sec. In the beautiful little van. Okay, give it another go, Ben. Yeah, ready? Yeah. Right, stop. Okay, what we need to do is get a temporary fuel line hooked up to the carburetor with the, my little tank up here. Yeah. So if it does run, at least it'll run for a little while because I don't want any of this manky fuel going in there and I can't feed it with this. We'll have a fire. All right? So we'll get that set up and we'll be back. Okay, we've got a little temporary tank hooked up. Right, that's definitely on. It's a wind special windscreen wiper, bracket 3000, plus one. Plus one. Um, yeah. So now we have petrol. Yeah. Fresh petrol to the carburetor. And mm -hmm. Benj is going to go in and fire it up again. Are you not? Yeah. Well, do you want me to do it? That's fine. Okay. I'm just going to put this old pipe out of the way in case it starts to pump old fuel everywhere. So rather it didn't really. That's a really horrible pipe. It's so brittle. Mm. <sighs> right. Let's have a go. Ready? Yeah. Go. Oh, sorry, mate. Got stuck again. Give it another squirt and you loosen it up. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, got it. Ready? Yep, ready. Uh, hold on. It's a bit of a big ass with no choke, really. Uh, right. Can you put the choke on? Okay, now give it a go. Ready? Yeah. Right. That would go straight away if it was going to, I think, at least fire. Right, it's right there. Ready? Yeah. Right. Woo! That cleared the exhaust pipe. Okay, Jesus. let's back that off a bit. It's <laughs> uh, slightly too advanced, I think. Right, give another go. Bit better. Try again. Oh, hold, on. hold on. Okay, try again. Okay, take the choke off a bit. A half choke will do. Okay. Yeah, ready? Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. Try again. since it fired the first time so I'm going to go right back to uh, where it was when we got the van mm -hmm. which is about there is that breather hosted on there? Uh, no it's not oh. you put that back on? yeah it's obviously there for a long time yeah shake to there isn't it? Okay, when you're ready then. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Go on. Go on. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Leave it for a minute. I'm going to take some of one plug out. I'm just look at the straight one. Have you seen the big rack ratchet? No, not since Millie had it. Where did she have it? I 
Tinker, what's she done with it? Okay. I don't know what she done with the big ratchet, do you, Benj? No. Okay, so I don't have a ratchet. I'm going to have to go and get one from the workshop. There's, there's screwdrivers and tools everywhere with these children. Right, we've got a feeling that the bowl's stuck in the carburetor. I'm just going to feed it a little bit more. Can you, that Can you just, um, it won't go level. That was alright as it was. That's fine. Can you just give it a whirl, Benj? Ready? See so if it will fire. Yeah, go on. Take this number one plug out and have a look. fuel getting in there some, for some reason. Right. Let's just double check the spark again. You want to spin it over for me in a sec? Go. No, spark's gone now. Ah, interesting. That obviously would not help the cause, would it? No. Okay, so we need to have a look at the points again, which means taking that lovely cap off. Love so much. Right, caps off. Wait a minute. Put it over, mate. Lost all, all spark. We nearly celebrated, didn't we? <laughs> Ignition on, please. Ignition on. Is it on? Yeah. Red light showing? Yeah. Yeah, we've got no life here at all. Dead. What's on the ignition on? Oh, that's why. Why? Leads off the coil in my hand. What's on the ignition on? Yes, please. Right. Well, that wouldn't help. That wouldn't help, no. It's got caught around something and it pulled off, I'm afraid. Spin it over again, please. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Leave the ignition on a minute. Okay. No, there's still nothing. It's going to come off again, is it? Nothing. Possibly. Unless the coil's died, which is quite possible. Yeah. As we know. Definitely on there. Is the ignition still on? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing there at all. Right, switch it off a sec.
So in which case, this live from the battery, besides that connector, surely that's not right. Anyway, live from the battery, and that oh, green one. Never known I've had with so many wires in my life. I've right, got that one, so that's straight to the, the doofer hanger. I'll get another coil. This one I prepared earlier. Find this one. This one I prepared earlier. It's nice and warm, it's been in the sun, but that clip is way too big. We can do, but I just want to see if this cures the, see if it's the coil or not. You need the main, um, main, main lead. No. That should be all I need. Let's pop the ignition on a sec. Yeah, I've got power again now. Can you turn it over? Yeah. Uh, mm. What, no power? Wait, put the ignition on? Yeah, it's on. Mm, oh dear. Is that an active coil? Or... It shouldn't be. Is the ignition on? Yeah. Red light showing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Um, can Jake have a phone just for a few minutes so I can um, talk to Evan? No, not at the moment. So I'll cut that out of the video, yeah? We got no power at all, Benj, from anywhere. Mm. Right, okay. Okay, let's have another go. Right, so we found that the coil went kaput. Um, so we've temporarily put a coil down there just for now. And uh, now we're going to try and fire it up again. So we'll just try it, shall we? When you're ready? Yeah. Ignition on. Yeah. Running. Ready? Yeah. Come on. Uh, oh. Okay, so we got a, a pop, that's something. Try again. Got a few pops, even better. Try again. Right there, go on. Go on. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. What's that? Again, Ben. Right, go on. Ooh, it's exciting. Go on. Go on. Oh my god, what the fuck? It's in two that. Blowing exhaust, but wow. Ah, yeah, cool. oh. oh, no, no, that was me. Let's go again. I'm running for too long, there's no water. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> Can we try a little bit of choke? It might take a, it might need a little bit of choke, just half a choke maybe. It is half choke. Is it? Yeah. A bit more then. Well, in or out? Out, obviously. 
out. Now that's in. No, I'm trying to move Okay. Okay, try it there. Okay. Again. I say? <laughs> well, that uh, certainly answered the question. Does it run? Well, yes, it does. That'll be the thumbnail. Does it live? Oh, yes, it does. Yeah. Has it got a fu bright future? I believe it has. Well, <sighs> over the moon with that. That's a high five. Father and son high five. Look at that. I'm not sure the amount of years it's been stood, but I think it's around five without running, well, which isn't an awful seven, lot. No, seven without running. Oh, seven. Seven. Yeah, seven without running. Okay, seven. So, I suppose that's not bad, is it? Really? Really? No. It's not bad. Nope. Let's just give it a little bit more fuel. Oh, shit. Let's not chuck it all over myself like that. I think there was anything left in there. Mm, right, let's give it a little bit more fuel. And just run it for a just a little while longer. Um, can't you you can't tip tip water in it, can you? Because all the no, all the pipes are uh, all perished. No, but like the like the main one, so you can't tip it in anywhere. No, so it could come out the holes where the pipes are perished. Right, can we start it up again? Yeah. I just Ready? want to have a little fiddle with that timing. Go on. Ready? Yeah. Go on. Oh, wait, 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 everything's falling off here. The king leads come out. <laughs> right, go on. Go on. It was jump the spark was jumping across from the king lead to the dizzy. Do it. Do it. Go on. It's not getting any fuel. Go on. Go on in the cab, right? Because for some reason, just turn the key. You don't have to turn it all the way off every time, you just turn it back. It's not a no, modern no. ignition. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. No, not that, that. Oh. Just go again. 
one. Tank holder 6001. Why the one? A? Why the one? Well, because just mark it's mark 6001. It lives, it lives, my god, it lives. Well, I could sleep well tonight, knowing that. Oh, just get that tightened up a little bit, stop it moving. So I can just turn it gently. Okay, you bored yet? I doubt it. Right, where are we? So, we're looking good, aren't we? Yes. Has all my fuel gone again? No. Has all the fuel been used again? No. Well, I don't know. I don't know how much Jake used for the lawn, though. Okay. Right, can we spin it over again? Because there's plenty in there. I can't run it for... Don't put any more in, Benj. I can't run it for long because there's no water. I just want to see if I can get it to tick over nicely. Go on in and fire it up. Yeah, I'm not sure see if that's going to fall over or not. We'll hold Go it. and fire it up. We'll hold it. Mm -hmm. Put the, the cap it. Go on. Oh, just be nice. Just run. Throttle, maybe. Go on, then.
Turned itself off. No, like the sound. You just keep exhaust cut. No. It sounds really cool. No. I like it nice and quiet, like my other one. Go again. Well, you've done pretty well, old girl. Just to run at all, really. Amazing, isn't it, really? Lost tick over turned up a little bit. But anyway, it's running. We've got there. We know That's what, what we wanted to do today. Exactly yeah, yeah. what we've done. <laughs> so uh, it's just nice to hear them run, isn't it? After all those years, you just want to keep listening to them. But, um, you know, we'll have to knock it on the head there, I think. Yeah, it's one that's got we, to cook uh, barbecue. Gas the other rounds out. Well, the other one, yeah, the other one's in the back there. Ah, so good. I'm really pleased. Really pleased. Really, really, really pleased. And the condition under here is quite something. The boxes are knackered, the heater boxes, but that's normal. It's like new, isn't it? But the actual van itself is very, very good. I don't know what the site under the wings, but they're going to come off. Front panel's got to come off. Inner front panel's got to come out. Uh, it is in there, which is good. It exists, which is... <laughs> it's not crusty either. Which is uh, better than so. Yeah, it's not crusty either, but we've got problems around the windscreen. There's lots of work to do around there. Yes. And only a small amount of work to do on the woodwork, because we checked that out the other day. Mm -hmm. And the, the, work, the wood in the sides of the van is really, really good. Not like the other one. And, uh, and the floor as well. And the floor is really, floor, really good. The floor is really good. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a nice little job when I get to do it. Really nice. Anyway, we're just um, going to run it once more for the benefit of Millie. You coming across? So my daughter's coming. Go on, Ben. Listen to this. Ready? So it won't run, will it? So once we um, get to do it, we've got a pretty easy life. Engine and stuff. I don't know what the gearbox clutch or anything like that. Oh, it's all right. You know that? You haven't put the clutch in? Yeah. Not with it in gear. Not with it running. No. No, you don't do that in here. No, no, no. But I've, I've done it. We could have a disaster. Two ice cream vans may become one. And Uda. Eugene. Uda. Is like Yoda? Yoda! Yoda. Right, anyway, uh, that's about it for the moment, so thanks for watching. Oh, and um, it must, No, you can't do that. Uh, you can't even see. Right, you've got to get your van in. Dirty. And you, right, That's about it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Mad Works Garage again with me and Benj. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. It's been a bit quiet, I suppose, but until the end. But uh, there we are. After all those years, he's running. He's running. Nothing modern, just everything old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so not it's cheating. <laughs> yeah. So there's lots, lots to replace, lots to do, but we've got a nice running engine and a pretty decent little van to, to sort out. Yeah. But anyway, from us at Madworks Garage, we'll see you all again real soon. Cheerio for now. Bye bye.